One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Listen, listen, people. Listen, I'm just, I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. Uh, The Captain America Civil War movie is one of the best movies I ever saw in my whole entire life. I mean, it's right up there with Saving Private Ryan. It's, I mean, it's up there with Forrest Gump, uh, um, Taming of the Shrew. Um, I mean, you name it. And, and also, the last Captain America movie, uh, Winter Soldier. Very good movie. Uh, it's just, it's, it's so good. It's, it, it, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to express how good it is without giving any spoilers. Okay, so let's go over what we do now. We know Spider-Man's in it, Captain America, you know, the whole team, uh, Ant-Man, uh, you know what I'm saying? We know that these characters are in it. And at first I thought this was the Punisher, but it's not. Uh, nonetheless, it would have been kind of cool. You know, it would have been kind of cool to see Frank in there. But nonetheless, the movie is... I, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you why the movie's so good. For one, they split the movie up, which which is the way they split the movie up to, to for the next for the next edition of the movie is uh, the the way they split it up. Like you, we all knows what happens in Civil War. Captain America dies in Civil War in the comic books. If you haven't read it. Uh, that's what happens. So, the, the, uh, being the fact that Captain America is still alive at the end of this movie, we already know that there's going to be more. Now, if you didn't know that Captain America was not going to die in here, then you've been sleeping under a rock when it comes to Marvel Comics. Civil War isn't just one big deal and then boom, it's all over. It's a series of events that invites a lot of, of like, C-lister uh, people who are actually living in the city of New York, and they're fighting amongst each other also. So, you know, you'll have people like Luke Cage, and we already know who Luke Cage is. You have people like Jessica Drew, Luke Cage. We have those people uh, fighting. Uh, we have Iron Fist. Um, Luke Cage and Iron Fist fight together. Uh, you have a, like I said, you have a bunch of C, D lister mutants who are also fighting in this. So it's not just a small thing. It's for mutants. It's for anyone with superpowers. That's anyone. This is worldwide. So like, that's not a spoiler that I told you. He's still alive. Okay. Uh, so the way they're telling the story is so good because they're throwing in other 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 entities into the movie that can, will will easily spawn off after civil war is over it will easily spawn off into oh my god i want to see this too you know what i'm saying and it's so it, it's it's so well done and the simple fact that you don't know who you're fighting sometimes You think you're fighting the right person and you're not. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, who am I supposed to be fighting? Because it's all about, you know, what what is right in a certain person's eyes. And we go through this now. We have all we have gender wars right now. We have race wars that have lasted since the planet was. Uh, We have. we have uh, 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 or economical wars that we've been fighting for the longest time. I mean, it, it's it's just the nature of hum- humanity. And, and uh, only thing about it is none of us are super powered individuals to this magnitude. So I'm trying not to give anything away. But if you look deeper into what's going on, it will help you when you watch the movie. Don't just watch it and think, Oh, these are just a couple guys running around in tights. 
look at it and personalize it. It'll give you a more of a catharsis in what is actually happening. Also, if you go and get any of Captain America's Civil Wars, you can read through those books and you can read through, uh, especially if you get trade paperback, you can read through how it affected the lives of a lot of superheroes you just don't see. You just don't see these people. And a lot of superheroes who you know actually hit the streets. Like they go undercover. You know, Wolverine goes undercover. He isn't just out there running around slashing and he gets, he goes back to the covert Wolverine that you knew and loved because they say he's the most dangerous mutant there is only because when he goes feral, he doesn't kill who he kills. He doesn't care who he kills. He turns into a berserker and the name berserker coming from uh, the berserkers who, uh, uh, you know, like Eric the Red, the Vikings who came in and they would get so juiced up in battle that they would even kill their own people and wouldn't even realize it until the battle's over. That's where the word Berserker comes from, uh, Berserker Rage, which Wolverine goes into. You know, he does he does that in the streets, like he's in there getting it in. And of course, you do have the Punisher, who is all about, you know, I'll shoot you right now. Uh, and, and, you know, um, the Widow, she goes underground. You know, this is where, this is what you want to see. Like, this movie is just the crux of what actually goes on in Civil War and why Civil War was so galvanizing to readers. Because we were like, oh my God, I could see that happen. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say, it's one of the best movies i ever seen. Uh, they it, like oh, the Avengers 2 they had a bunch of jokes and they, they didn't take it seriously when they were blowing people up it just was corny to me it was like good action but can you chill out with the the narcissistic uh, you know comments like everybody is oh we're we're just gonna go in here and chill and that's just it and, you know Obama you know we're gonna we're gonna win you know it cut it with the attitude in Civil War you really don't know who's winning as a matter of fact, I, I don't even think there is a winning. That's what's so beautiful about it. And the way they match up the talents, the way they match up, uh, 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 um, you know, Tony Stark, you know, uh, uh, against Captain America, you know, and, and, and even, even outside of the superhero, uh, uh, you know, atmosphere when they're just two guys talking you can see where the push pull is coming from and you got to understand that like the it it, it it doesn't center around Bucky this this does not center around Bucky it centers around whether we're doing right or wrong and we're going like I said we're all going through that right now that's what it's all about you know so uh I, like I said I don't want to give any spoilers but if you look at the backstories of these guys and what's really going on, it will really, like, I'm going to go see it again today because, I mean, I loved it. I saw it yesterday. I'm, I have to see it again because I'm sure I missed something. But the action was so good that I, I was just, blo I was blown away. I was 